You're watching 30 Miles Out Kayak Fishing TV. 30 Miles Out is presented by McCain High Performance Graphite Rods. Make every cast count. Dean, what are we doing? The new honey hole. Where in at? In the woods. Talk him by. Hopefully right. we'll get into something. Dean's got his new custom rod, ultralight. That's all you bring is that one? Yes, sir. I'm gonna bring two. One for backup. And then we got the Revo stripped down. One box tackle each. That's it. Bottle of water. Eight foot push poles instead of paddles. Let's head over to the forest over here and see if we can get in this. It's a big hole that comes off the bay. And then right in the middle of the woods. Passed up the entrance, people. Trying to go in the outdoor. Again. This is going to be interesting. Welcome to the real Florida for your enjoyment. Look at the palmettas. This looks like bear country. All right, let's get these boats unloaded. Let's see how long it takes us to walk <laughs> to this lake. So we just talked to the park ranger, and he said that uh, it's like 0.6 miles back there. He said. Might be kind of sketchy getting them in the water. Like there's a drop off. Where's he said? I don't know how y'all gonna get them back there. <laughs> That'll work. We'll put our drives and everything in the back so it'll kick them up. Put all our weight back here. I don't know. Let's figure it out. Hey man. Vehicles three dollars. Walk-in bikes two. Follow instructions on Evo. We gotta pay. We gotta pay three plus two. So Dean was like, don't you have a state park pass? And I do. So we thought we were getting free. Then I remembered it ended in October. Today's November 1st. Still gotta pay my seven dollars. So I see what the game warden was saying about, I don't know how y'all gonna get him in off the edge. I didn't know what he was talking about, but now I see. Got a railing, trailing issue. It looks red fishy as, as all get out, don't it? The question is, if we get him down, how we get him up? back up. Dang, we should have brought the paddle boards, Dean. The paddle boards we could do. All right, we're gonna figure this out. We'll get back to you in a minute. Well, then just throw in right here. Just throw in so we can get some water. Let's do it. That's good. That's actually a great idea. We ain't never getting him out of there. <laughs> we might be living down here for a couple of days, so we definitely need the water. Oh, good, 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 good. It's like, it's not uh, mushy mud, it's like black mud. The only thing about this spot, you gotta want it. The only thing I can think of when Teresa sees this footage is she's going to be saying, Oh my God, I'm glad I did not go. <laughs> Since they got any red fish in here. You going to make it, bro? I guess we should go upwind. Almost fell. Yeah, I know. Can't do the shoes. You got to want it, Dean. <laughs> I am sweating. Let's go see if we can find some fish. Nice! Huh? Redfish? <laughs> Good job, bro. He might be. Yeah, man. He might be a little short. 
good looking, man. Heck yeah. All right. <laughs> <Came up> and <laughs> just... <laughs> He's 15, 16, 16 and a half, something like that. Pretty fish, man. Yes, sir. Just let him go. Yeah. He was ready. Top water it is. Luke Jr. is my meat potato, thing. Looks like he's still on the bullet. So far, Dean got the one red, and I got a speck blow up. Didn't hang him. Uh, man, this is so remote. There's no boats, there's no houses. You're on two? You got yours. I think mine was a speck. <laughs> there you go, man. Good job, bro. Top water time. Alright. Well, look at that tooth. I think he's One keeping... tooth. Alright, we got a setting sun and some awesome looking untouched marsh. I had no idea there'd be specks back here. Hey, man. I'll take it. He's on it. Get it, bud. I just smashed him. Oh, I did. <laughs> They're in here, man. What about six? Are we drifting? We always should stay. The red usually hang right on the grass line, and the specks hang out in the deeper stuff. Oh, that's what. No, like I said that, but I don't know if that's a speck. I know, I think that's a red there, Tom. <laughs> I just said, Greg, Greg, Greg should like to hang on the grass line. <laughs> Tips from Ty, don't listen to what he says. Yeah. Yes, sir, it's Poop Jr. Thank you, Nathan. This is one Nathan gave me. Nathan is my Hattiesburg, Mississippi connection for all things lures. <laughs> oh, no, it's oh a gator trout. Oh, my gosh, it's a big, it's a big trout. trout. Of course, I don't have a net. Want me to come over there, too? Oh, yeah, it'd be helpful, man. All right, fine. Big trout, dude. I thought it was a red. Oh my god, I don't know how good he's huge. Look at him. Be easy with him. He's under my boat. Don't let him get the other rod, guys. Uh oh. This is a good direction. Oh. Watch out, don't switch. Oh. Oh, good job. Oh, this is a good, good fish. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that hook. Look at Bruce. <laughs> Thank you, Nathan. It's like a... Putting, pushing 20. 20? Pushing close to 20. Boom! So I caught him on the new Lou's. Thank you, Lou's, for sending that to me, man. That's that's. I love this uh, saltwater series custom. And then thank you, Nathan, for that Spook Jr. in the crazy color. And that's what we get, right? Jump! <laughs> <laughs> we nail it, too, man. I thought it was a redfish, bro. So did I. <laughs> that's awesome. We got another kayaker out here. We want to figure out how, how the heck he got back here. Oh, he's got a feisty man. Oh, he popped off, Dean. Uh. <laughs> man, that cold water's got these specs feisty. He was on, I think he was a keeper, just right at. I thought this was going to be redfish country. I think it's a little deeper than I thought. Look at these dinks going to smack the fool out of a big old top water. <laughs> yeah. Hey, they're on this point though. I can see them moving. I think the, the current's coming out. I think they are. You got a big old heavy chump on that one thing. Oh, Dean's hooked up. Dean's hooked up. Man, that was a nice explosion. What you got? Spec? Man, I thought this was going to be red territory. That's a keeper, bro. Yeah, man. Got across the way, got a speck on too. The specs are going. Look at that. Big old speck. Good job, man. I don't know what. Cajun power pole. See? So we've been watching this guy fish back here. Had no idea how he got into the lake. Let's go talk to him and find out. I got a question for you. 
How'd you get back here? That dock way over there. I walked this kayak all the way down that dock. Is it on the Alabama side? No, no, it's probably, it's, it's probably maybe 150 yards where all those houses are in that little neighborhood. Yeah. The park? Well, oh, yeah. We walked down the boardwalk and threw them over the rail. It was yeah. an asshole, man. <laughs> Get back here. Yeah, I got uh, a bunch of my buddies live in that neighborhood. It's a private neighborhood. What's the name? Fisher. Fisher? Yes, sir. Hey, man, I'm filming. You mind if I put you on there? Yeah, go ahead. All right, uh, guys, we got Fisher right here. He's giving me the hookup on how to get back here without having to throw it over the rail. <laughs> well, good luck. I appreciate it. Okay. He's got a big boat. Oh, he's on it again. He's on it again. Oh, that's a little one. That's a little dude, man. They're in the mouth. Oh, there you go, Dean. <laughs> that was pretty in the light, man. Nice little pocket. Right here. Reverse, so I don't go back in that pocket. Let fish pull you into what you don't want to turn into. That's what did all that ruckus right there, just that little dude. Yeah, the bay side. Super skinny right here in the mouth, so it's gonna be skinny in there. If there was any red in there, we'd see him. We're losing light. We're gonna have to start pushing our way back to the thing. We're gonna be doing taken out in the dark as it is, man. It's going to be sketchy going over that railing in the dark. Looks like the water's coming in. Yeah, it does. Well, guys, it's been an awesome afternoon. Dean and I have had a great time out here. We're kind of, kind of fast fish all the way back. We're losing daylight. We still got to do that ridiculous over the railing thing. We may have to do it in the dark at this point already. So we're going to do a fast fish all the way back to the dock, or to the boardwalk. If I don't see you again, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. No. Um, what movie is that from? <laughs> if I don't see y'all again until it's dark, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Share this with everybody you know who likes to fish, man. We'll catch you next time right here on 30 Miles Out. What? Going back in the dark, I might as well catch another one. Wham! Wham! It's acting like a redfish, bro. Ooh, lordy. Love this type, this style of fishing. Love it. Top water. I don't know. Also, lose. No, big old crack. Big old crack. I think he's hooked pretty good. Ooh, Lord. Lord have mercy. Boy, that's a nice peck. That's a nice peck, brother man. Beck wrecking in the USA. That just happened. Who is it? That's an 18er right there, baby. Yes, sir. Let's wait through the marsh in the dark for a second. Probably can't even see him. Oh, a flashlight. I just thought. I just thought. <laughs> I'm 
be doing my booty like. Well, we made it back to the truck, safe and sound, in the dark. What a fun afternoon Dean and I had back there. Getting to that lake, figuring out on Google Maps was something else. We, I just heard about it in passing. Going over that railing, wading through the marsh, it was something. But what a reward. Really secluded. Hey, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see y'all next time. What? I don't know, but I'm tired. Let's go home.